Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. You guys, big news, I just got monetized. Well, I say I just, it was a few days ago. I had to fly to my home to attend the funeral, literally two days after my monetization. So I didn't have time to hold Q&A to celebrate it, but we definitely have to do a Q&A. So if you have any questions, drop it down in the comments below. And then later on, once I'm back from Poland in a week of time, I will hold a Q&A video and announcing some other interesting stuff. For now, I'm just going to catch up with Soul Evelyn, episode 9 and 10. And after that, we've got the Heal and Magic anime to catch up, the Instant Death and much more. In general, it's going to be amazing. We're growing a really nice community. So even though this is, at the moment, this is a quite difficult time for me, I'm using this moment as a chance to escape in the world of anime because this is what I love to do. I love to escape from my problems, things that worry me and focus on the things that I love to do, which is YouTube, which is watching anime with my audience. So thanks for coming and stopping by with me. Oh, and just so you know, this is not my new background. I am literally in my home. So let's all give this channel a chance to grow, like and subscribe my videos and to see them in a full opacity, uncut and patron exclusive titles such as Chain Soldier, Sacrificial Princess and many more. Check out the link down below. Thanks. And without further ado, Soul Level in episode 9 and let's go. Now, what do we have here? We are obviously entering the dungeon. And we've got the prisoners fighting. Okay, I'm quite curious about them. They're obviously proper, proper bodies. And we've got some sort of suspicious plot going on, don't we? Of course he did. Uh, let's keep that information this closed. Mm. Can she heal though? Not to be rude, but I'm not sure about that. Well, him seeing it, seeing his aura means that the sky can see it too, right? And didn't he just sort of confirm that Sun Jinhua is not awakened at all? But if he can see his aura, then that's quite bad news for Sun. Wait, 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 wait. He wants to split in the three groups. Now, if that is not suspicious, I don't know what is. And I think Sung Jin Wan knows. Yeah. Exactly. So if Sung knows, then this guy knows. And I don't know. Does he know though? Now, I thought that he would mix, mix the prisoners with Sung Jin Oh my god, have you seen his smile? That was so creepy. That is not normal. He knows something about Sung Jin Wo. These guys' eyes. They're not normal. They're like devoid from emotion. Why are you asking them? They're criminals. It's obvious answer to that from the criminal perspective. <gasps> That's... Oh my god. I can't believe it. That's a bribe. So that's what it all is about. That's why he let him. That's why he let them all into one dungeon, separate dungeon from everyone else. My god, that is brutal. That is vicious. Great. He already killed them. Wow, this anime is... It is brutal. But it's like, you can't really blame him, but he did take money for it, right? So it's not like he's a hero of justice. Wow, in one slice. He's not going to kill him, them right there are innocent. They're hunters. I have a really bad feeling. He does remember you, though. 
They screamed. He's after them. His body has been tortured. He's not been clean in one... He's not been killed in one clean go. He's been tortured. He's been played with. What is wrong with Khan Teshik? And him as well. He has a child. Come on. Just do something. I'm so glad she can heal. Like, sometimes I'm, I, I worry that, you know, she just won't do anything. He was doing it for fun. I mean, he's lost so much blood, and we're talking about litters of blood here. Oh my god, this episode is quite difficult. His soul has left the body. He actually died? And this bastard is looking at him from shadows and attacking from behind. What an absolute bastard. Strategic but bold move when I have Song Jinwa. I'm sure he won't let him go. He's not a good dad guy. Just how did he come up with that? Oh, well, that's a perfect story for you. Absolute scumbag. How is he going to do that? But this guy is a C rank. Yeah, it's just why would he do that if he can literally release a fire on him? That's an illusion. He hit him. Oh, I'm so glad that she's able to heal him. Well, I don't think so because Song Jin Wo is about to stop you. Oh no! He's stronger than I thought. Wow. Now that's something. He's torturing him. He's toying. He's playing with him. There's no way this is an extent of his powers. He's definitely stronger than that. Don't tell me. She hasn't run out of her powers. She's just she's confused and terrified. I mean, she's just... He released his magical power. So that was his plan all along. An E rank. <laughs> so what? It works. Everyone falls for that. Oh well, maybe he's just a special E rank. An assassin build. Well, <laughs> he's putting a lot of power and strength. So. I wouldn't call it an assassin's build, per se. <laughs> Not the first one, but the second one. Well, if they measure his power and it's zero, what are they going to say next time? A third awakening? But I'm glad that these people doesn't know that there is much more to this world rather than just awakening. Wow, he's so dark and evil. Yeah, but not like he cares, does he? Social justice? You are a murderer. Exactly, the witnesses. Just so he can keep his little business aside going. He's a monster. 
Don't tell me. He's a psychopath. <laughs> now, the question is, can Jinwa go against him? And we definitely know that Jinwa is on the C rank. And I think this battle is going to be very educational for him. <gasps> they are matched in speed! Come on, you have to get him this proper bad guy. He's doing the same thing. But wait a minute. <laughs> this system has noticed it. It doesn't matter because you are going to die anyways. You just hop in there preparing for... <gasps> what a strike! He's gone? Well... Oh damn. So it's actually difficult for him to avoid his invisibility. Wow. It's quite awesome to be honest with you. He knows how to use it even though he's like almost paralyzed. No. Well, there's always a first time mate. Another of his emotions is gone. <sighs> you can't blame him when he's dealing with bastards like these. You can't even possibly imagine what he has been forced through. I have to say Kang Taishik is quite cool in the way he looks with his blades. And there he go and poof, disappeared. Oh my god, he's this amazing. <gasps> We've not seen him using that skill at all. Well, that froze me. Does it mean that Sung Jin will become like him? I don't think so. He came from a totally different background than you. He's the E rank of justice. The system is the mystery. I'm sure he can figure out some little lie. Wow. He can see it in him already. But Sung Jun went for Rune Stone Stealth. Have you seen it? Isn't Rune Stone? We all know it from games. You can add Rune Stones to your items and acquire the powers, right? So, does it mean that he will be able to embed the stone in his weapon and become invisible himself? That would be amazing. Well, you know what they say, <laughs> the darkest is under the lamp. That's kind of a Polish saying. You recognize him. 
Well, speaking of design, he, he's almost a different character. <laughs> Everybody apologizing to him. What is going on? Sort yourself out, people. He stood for him? Yeah. A mage die. How is that believable? Okay. I mean, anyone can say this is a blatant lie. I'm glad that he's, you know, a good character. I'm really, really glad. Wow. I mean, this whole thing was so difficult. This is the first stone that... I mean, of course I remember that. He gave it to her because he thought he was dying. He thought that this was the end, right? You know, the more I think about it, the more darker it feels. The whole anima. It's not just brutal wolf blood first and amazing battles but it's also very raw it's literally showing human emotions you can feel them you you really feel these characters all the struggles and difficulties they are going through the difficult choices that Sung Jin Wa is being put through and he has to make them over and over again I can't blame him for becoming darker he literally said another one of emotions is gone I've never been in a situation like this myself, but I can only imagine that if that's what would have happened to me, there's no way I would keep my sanity and innocence. So dark. And then there is a case of this father of a daughter that hung himself because I'm guessing she was assaulted by these prisoners, right? So in a way it's like, you can't, you can't really blame him for trying to pay money to kill this his daughter's killers because if they're about to leave the prison just because they've lowered their sentence because they've served in the dungeon killing monsters they are monsters themselves they should not be released this is that system that justice system it's not right i think this is something new that just came up because those dungeons started popping up out of nowhere some years ago and i don't think they really fought it through it doesn't make sense if they've committed a crime and they keep going to dungeons, killing monsters, and you can tell they're not nice people, they should go through some sort of psychological re-evaluation so we know that they can actually join normal citizens on the street without being scared that they might kill because they literally have powers that a normal citizen doesn't have. But let's move to a more enjoyable topic, which is the runestone stealth. Guys, honestly, if you play the games right, I'm pretty sure that the runestones, you can, you can add them to weapons. Was it, was it, was it Path Exile I've played? I'm pretty sure there were more games like this. Super exciting, right? Because if you can add that to his weapon, if he could use this stealth, even if he like became a, a, a skill, like maybe he doesn't have to embed it into his cloths or weapons, but like even if it just became like his skill or, or if he could use it one time, I can only imagine the great things he could do because... If Kang Taishi was able to hide his smell, his sound, everything, that's great, right? What he could not hide was the blood first, and that's what Jinwo proper tracked him on. Amazing. Oh my god, I'm so glad he has it. That's like a proper reward. And the fact that the system has sensed the murderous intent from this guy and literally gave him a mission to get rid of him. Amazing, like. But at the same time, it makes you think so. Is he guilty? Because like, if he didn't kill that guy, then what would have happened? The system literally gave him mission, just like with the other people from the previous dungeon that have attacked him. So, can he sort of blame the system for giving him these missions? He doesn't, because he actually owns up to him to it. He literally takes it unto himself. He knows what he's doing. You know, I respect Sun Jin Wen that way. He literally saved so many people and so on. But anyways. I'm going to jump into the episode 10 now. Make sure to smash the like button, subscribe for my future reactions, and if you would like to see my reactions uncut in full opacity and length, early released, the link to my Patreon is down below. 
Alternatively, you can become a member of my channel and get some amazing perks. Again, listen the link down below, so make sure to check that out. A big shout out to my Patreon, Isaac, being a Shogun member of my Patreon and always supporting and commenting on my videos. Thank you so much to the members of my YouTube channel as well and anyone else who contributes to this channel growth. Have a fantastic day and thank you so much for watching the video with me. Hope to see you in my next video. Bye!